there's no routine traffic stop. There's no routine calls because you never know what's going to happen. And when you think you've seen it all, you haven't seen anything yet. Continuing coverage tonight about a shooting involving officers in a crowded Warner Robins parking lot. Throughout Thursday night, as the story broke, we brought you the latest details from investigators. Today, they shared more information about what happened, which changed some of what they originally released. Ashlyn Webb tells us more about what we know tonight. Yes, tonight we're getting new information about the charges that suspect now faces, who all was involved, and why some information was not released by law enforcement. Let's start by taking you step by step through the information in the order we got it. Around 4 Thursday afternoon, Warner Robins Police Chief John Wagner confirmed they got a tip of a suspect breaking into cars in the Walmart parking lot. The man ran away and... After they fled on foot, uh, shots were fired in front of the Beals outlet. At the time, Chief Wagner did not confirm whether the man had a weapon or shot at police. He'd only say that at least one of the officers fired shots, hitting the suspect. He directed all other questions to the GBI. But we're limited in on information that we can give out at that moment in time. And part of that is part of our job is to prove or disprove um, as to what happened. And of course, we were the the agency that was involved with it. Uh, again, you can only give out so much information so you don't sway any witnesses. Thursday evening, we got more new information from the GBI. They said the man shot is 27 year old Derek Edward Jones. They also told us they believe he stole a gun out of a car in the parking lot and used that shoot at police in front of the Bills outlet. Several shots were fired by him and the officers involved. On Friday, a viewer sent cell phone video of the shooting to 13 WMAZ. It shows three members of law enforcement aiming their guns. The GBI says two are Warner Robins police officers. The man in the green sweatshirt is an off-duty Crawford County deputy. He was actually at the Walmart shopping. While he was off. Warner Robins police and the Crawford County Sheriff's Office say the two officers and the deputy are now on administrative leave while the GBI investigates. But GBI special agent in charge Todd Crosby says the tremendous amount of witnesses are helping them in their investigation. From speaking to several of the eyewitnesses that were there, they said that the officers gave this gentleman every chance to surrender, to give up, to put his firearm down and to do the right thing. As for Jones, he now faces a list of charges, including aggravated assault and entering an automobile. Crosby says this is still a very active investigation and they will not release the names of the officers or deputy involved at this time. Reporting in Warner Robins, Ashlyn Webb, 13 W Amazing News. GBI also said none of the officers were hurt. They say they will take Jones to the Houston County Jail once he gets out of the hospital. Todd Crosby says Jones is in stable condition and his injuries are not life-threatening. 